protection from environmental shifts to overspec. The day the dinosaurs died. 66 million years ago, the Earth existed as a true prehistoric paradise. Dinosaurs, those magnificent reptilian creatures that had lorded over the planet's lands for over 165 million years, remained the undisputed rulers of this verdant domain. From the towering long-necked giants that grazed peacefully in herds on vast plains, to the terrifying meat-eating theropods boasting massive jaws of serrated fangs, dinosaurs appeared forever destined to preside over this geological epoch. Everywhere across the globe, dinosaurs had carved out niches atop nearly every plausible ecological role that life in the late Cretaceous period had to offer. Pterosaurs like the gigantic Quetzalcoatlus, with wingspans rivaling small aeroplanes, owned the ancient skies. The seas hosted marine reptiles like fearsome pliosaurs, dolphin-like ichthyosaurs, and ferocious mosasaurs, some over 50 feet long, continuously cruising prehistoric oceans locked in an eternal predator-prey arms race. On the lands, diversity among the dinosaurs abounded across all shapes and sizes. Mysora nurtured their young within nurturing hierarchical colonies. Pachycephaloses crashed their domed skulls in gladiator-like mating battles. Feathered protoavian cousins of the Velociraptor represented the earliest evolutionary experiments giving rise to the first birds. From the lush redwood forests of ancient North America to the desiccated desolations of Cretaceous Antarctica, every continent hosted an unparalleled richness of dinosaur species filling every conceivable ecological role. Life appeared permanently fixed in this perpetual state of dinosauria dominance, with early mammalian ancestors remaining a meek nocturnal sideshow to the grand reptilian spectacle. Yet all of this grand biodiversity carefully assembled over nearly 180 million years of successful evolution stood perilously close to the precipice of total extinction in a terrifying cosmic instant. Around 66 million 38,000 years ago in the fading days of spring in what is now the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, a brilliant flash of light pierced the early morning skies over the shallows of an ancient sea. In just six cataclysmic minutes, everything in a region spanning roughly 30 kilometers was forever transformed as the deepest undercurrents of time itself wavered. An ominous whistle built gradually into an ear-splitting roar of unimaginable scale as a roughly six-mile-wide asteroid dubbed the Chicxulub Impactor tore through Earth's atmosphere at around 40,000 miles per hour. The rock, carbon-rich asteroid fragment potentially originating from the outer reaches of the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, had been nudged into this fatal orbital intersection through the subtle gravitational tugs of long-vanished celestial bodies. What occurred next unleashed a concentrated force equivalent to over 1 billion Hiroshima bomb blasts simultaneously detonating across the Yucatan region. The impactor itself descended deeper into Earth's crust than the height of Mount Everest before vaporizing in a catastrophic explosion of epic proportions. Those first six harrowing minutes saw earthquakes over 11.0 magnitude on the Richter scale radiating outward from the impact zone across the Americas and into the adjacent oceans. Tsunamis exceeding half a mile in height surged away in all directions, scouring the continental coastlines bare of life for hundreds of miles inland. The impactor had effectively weaponized the very Earth's crust itself, violently excavating a crater 110 miles across and plunging over 20 miles deep into the surface. Yet the devastation was only beginning with this initial concentrated blunt force introduction. Over the next hour-long period, a cataclysmic heat pulse radiated outward, sending near-surface ambient temperatures around the globe surging past 300 degrees Fahrenheit, essentially flash cremating anything caught within several thousand-mile radii of the blast zone. Ancient forests stretching across the American landmasses rapidly ignited into superstorms of flame as an impenetrable thermal pyroclastic fog descended. Scientists estimate some 325 gigatons of vaporized sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide blasted into the upper atmosphere, rapidly encasing the planet's stratosphere and skies in a thick shroud of soot and dust. Within mere days, the extinction event spawned perpetual darkness and frigid temperatures across all global latitudes as sunlight itself scattered and blocked. Not even a microscopic remnant of the catastrophic Chicxulub asteroid would prove spared from these reverberating environmental consequences radiating out. Over the coming months, the initial debris blasted into the upper atmosphere would slowly encircle the planet before gradually thickening into an enduring opaque cloud layer that fully enveloped Earth in an impact winter devoid of sunlight for years after the initial moment of collision. With warming solar rays cut off, 
plant life began withering and dying at a near-total scale across all latitudes and ecosystems. The global food chains collapsed as the bottom rungs feeding the great dinosaur herbivores perished in rapid succession. Even the microscopic phytoplankton sustaining marine plants in the ocean succumbed, leading to cascading die-offs of organisms across all ecological chains. The planet descended into mass starvation. These extinguishing reverberations radiated upwards. Within weeks, herbivore species like the duck-billed hadrosaurs, spiked ankylosaurs, and armored ankylosaurians that could not migrate outside the immediate environmental blast zone began succumbing in droves to the global losses of plant matter. With each passing day, another regiment of great herbivore herds perished in a widening wave of famine and drought across the ancient continents. As herbivorous food sources dwindled, the massive carnivorous theropods like Tyrannosaurus rex faced their inevitable mass starvation. The winged pterosaurs likewise saw their airborne food supplies blotted out by the perpetual pitch-black skies. Ancient sharks, ichthyosaurs, and plesiosaurs all drowned as the marine habitats collapsed without energy from sunlight. No ecological niche proved immune as even species pre-adapted to subterranean environments like the earliest mammalian ancestors found themselves starving blind in perpetual darkness just like their dinosaurian counterparts topside. Over the ensuing decades after the initial impact, it is estimated somewhere between 35 to 60 percent of all species succumbed to extinction within the span of just a few millennia. An estimated 20,000 genera of organisms winked permanently out, eradicated in one of the closest approximations of a complete reset that the fossil record has ever offered. Every single dinosaur species around the globe, down to the last screeching velociraptor and lumbering duck-billed hadrosaur perished in the aftermath of this event. All traces vanished, blinking into oblivion without even the faintest final trumpeting call to their terrestrial grandeur. Poof! the most magnificent terrestrial dominion over 165 million years in the making simply ceased to exist. Tens of millions of years worth of gradual evolutionary complexification and diversification from the late Triassic through the entire Jurassic and Cretaceous eras got wiped away in a relative eye blink. An indelible line demarcating the transition from the Mesozoic into the Cenozoic epoch was scorched into the geological record in fire and ash. The once diverse kingdom of dinosaurs plummeted into total oblivion, sharing fate with countless other organisms large and small that simply could not cope with the cascading cataclysmic events of that single planetary day of tears. Their extinction marked a near-complete reset for complex life afforded few other parallels across Earth's ancient history. Only microscopic life, subsurface burrowing organisms, and a minuscule selection of seed-bearing plants possessed the biological contingencies necessary to even begin transcending this planet-wide shockwave and impact winter. Of those remaining forms fortunate enough to avoid the initial blasts and ecological collapse, barely slim margins braved the extended decades of environmental degradation over tens of thousands of years until the atmosphere finally restabilized and rejuvenating sunlight returned. All this is catalyzed by the sheer scorching violence of one rogue six-mile-wide rock blasting into our world at nearly 40,000 miles per hour over six apocalyptic minutes. Despite the astounding evolutionary accomplishments and apparent terrestrial supremacy, the dinosaurs had accumulated across nearly 180 million years, these once impervious hegemons were rendered entirely impotent against the astronomical forces the cosmos had set into their unavoidable demise. For decades before scientific revelations, humankind speculated about the dinosaurs' extinction, from environmental shifts to overspec, 